Not training your brain to focus, relax, and of course create is like not going to the gym. Just like we work out our muscles, we've got to work out our mind. Especially in times of uncertainty, where we need to maintain emotional control and build up resilience to stress. But how do you train your brain beyond just reading? Well, the latest lineup of brain training wearables holds promise, and today I'm gonna to break down four of my top brain training wearables of 2020, score them on effectiveness, design, ease of use, and price, so you don't have to. Let's dive in. Work harder, run faster, think smarter, the hustle until you die culture is killing us. Millions are stressed and depressed. I was one of them. I went on a 90 day mission to biohack my way back to health. The result, my best selling book, Unstoppable, daily journal and online program that's changed thousands of lives and is praised by athletes, psychologists and doctors. And now it's your turn to become unstoppable. Hey, it's Ben Angel here, the author of the best-selling and now award-winning best self-help book of 2020 in the International Book Awards, Unstoppable, and also a journal based on the book. Now, super exciting announcement before we kick off these brain training wearable reviews is that I will actually be re-releasing Unstoppable this New Year's in an expanded and revised edition. So make sure you stay tuned for that and make sure you pre-order your copy of Mind Control, which is the anticipated follow-up to Unstoppable. Now, let's talk about brain training wearables. The wearable market is completely exploding right now. We have sleep and fitness trackers galore. Now, before you buy your next sleep tracker, make sure you check out on my YouTube channel the video that I covered regarding accuracy on that. You might be surprised. But the next wearable category to take off a brain training devices or otherwise known as brain entrainment. Some are deceptively simple, you're really powerful. So instead of you going out and buying them all yourself, I've tested them for you so you don't have to. Regardless of the wearable that I'll be covering, they're all ultimately designed to achieve the same objective and that is to deactivate your fight or flight response. They just use different methods to achieve it. So let's kick off with the first one, which is called OmniPemp. Now, despite the design being pretty horrible, which I'll cover shortly, this one actually gets top spot for effectiveness. OmniPemp uses electromagnetic therapy, otherwise known as PEMF, to train your brain to a specific frequency, such as alpha, beta, gamma, delta, or theta. Now, this type of therapy has over 10,000 research papers and 2,000 double-blind studies published in the National Library of Medicine at the National Institutes of Health. PMF is well-researched. You will have heard me speak about brain frequencies in relation to binaural beats previously and why they're so important when you want to be in an effective mental state. For example, I like to be in a theta frequency when I'm writing, which is a deeply relaxed and meditative state. The words just kind of flow and I can access different parts of my creative process when I optimize for this specific frequency through either binaural beats or lately I've actually been using this one. Now, I have to admit, when I got this one, I was incredibly skeptical. My BS alarm started going off. Is it legitimate? Well, the first frequency that I tried because through the app itself, you pick what you want to do, whether it's sleep, energy, cognitive function, even pain relief. I gotta be honest, the first frequency that I tried, I didn't notice that much of a difference. But when I switched to a deep relaxation mode in the app, it did take off the edge of my anxiety around deadlines and my thoughts did slow down. So now let's take a look at the OmniPemp scorecard. Effectiveness, I give this a 10 out of 10. Since I got it over a month ago, I've been using it daily. I put on relaxation mode an hour before I go to bed. Then I hit sleep mode to help increase my deep sleep because it can admit a delta frequency. And there's a funny little tube with a magnet in it where you put it up to your ear and you can actually hear the little bleeping, the frequency itself to make sure it's working. Because one thing when it comes to 
brain training wearables, you gotta ask yourself, is this piece of plastic really doing something? So it's great that they include that in the kit. Now, this is also great if you have anxiety and you're stressed out of your mind right now. It's a lifesaver because it doesn't require you to meditate, which is great if you're not much of a meditator. So what does it get for ease of use? Well, here it loses some points. You need to physically tap it twice to get it started, then in combination with the app on your mobile phone, once you select the program that you want, you then need to tap it twice again, and that will start it emitting the frequency that you've selected. Problem with that, if you get to bed a little bit later than your partner does, like I do, you might hop into bed, you've got the device next to your bedside table, you pick it up, you're trying to quietly tap it without waking up your partner. I would much rather a simple button, something to just press without having to hit something. And also if it's already on your head like this, you're kind of bashing your head, which is kind of weird for a device that is meant to calm you down. That was the functionality. Now let's talk about the design. Unfortunately, the design itself really isn't that user friendly for something that you put on your head. The form factor, while it feels comfortable around here, it's still a hard piece of plastic and it feels pretty chunky overall. And I of course understand there's probably parts in here that need to be shrunk down, which might be incredibly hard to do. But when you look at other devices such as Muse Meditation, which we'll cover shortly, it's a softer device, it's soft to the touch. And because it's also black, it's also not as noticeable when it's on your head. And if you have dark hair like me, it's not something that you can just pop on when you're in a cafe because you're gonna look like a weirdo. Now, despite the design flaws overall, I give it a nine out of 10. I can only really take off one point for the design flaws because the damn thing works. I've been sleeping better. I put it to the test a few weeks ago during a stressful situation and I was able to calm myself down just simply by putting this on within about 10 minutes without having to meditate, without having to do visualization, without having to do deep breathing. I just put it on and a few minutes later, I was able to jump back into work again. So this one gets one of the highest ratings out of all of them. Price, this comes in at $419. This is a well worth investment, especially for something that you're using daily. And if you're struggling with anxiety right now, you don't know how to calm yourself down. Something like this can help significantly. So at a price of 419, I think is personally pretty reasonable. Number two, next up, we actually have a device called BrainTap, which uses a combination of light therapy, binaural beats, as well as guided visualizations. This one's ultimately a triple threat. Now, I've had the pleasure of interviewing Dr. Patrick Porter, the founder of BrainTap previously. You wanna check out my YouTube channel for that interview. Now, BrainTap is a fully immersive experience. The first time I tried it, I was at the Dave Asprey Upgrade Labs biohacking conference in Beverly Hills. It was in a conference setting. There were dozens and dozens of people walking past the actual exhibitor stand itself. I put it on. I didn't feel like it was working initially because there was too much in the background. I couldn't really focus on anything. Then 15 minutes later, I was suddenly being tapped on the shoulder saying, hey Ben, wake up. It knocked me out for 15 minutes. It completely knocked me out cold. It was unexpected because I remember waking up thinking, oh my God, I just had a deep sleep in such a short amount of time. Now this one, I love because I'm big on visualizations, as you know, through the Unstoppable book, as well as the journal. But this is great because through the app itself, there's a full library that you can select the visualization based on your needs. And it uses neuro-linguistic programming. So if you're a fan of Tony Robbins, you'll know what NLP is. So let's take a look at the scorecard for BrainTap. Effectiveness, I give it an eight out of 10. 
This is great, especially for those of you that travel a lot, you need to reset your circadian rhythm, which is where the light therapy comes in really handy. But you need to think of this as actively training your mind. It's like a weight at the gym. You need to pick it up and use it for the weight to do its job and for your muscle to build up. So this one, you need to create a routine around it where you select maybe a different program each day and you do the brain entrainment through that process. I also like this one as a mid-afternoon pick-me-up or first thing in the morning to set my circadian rhythm and get my brain firing. Ease of use, this one's pretty easy to use. You literally pop it on your head, flip the visor down and sync it with the app. There hasn't been any connectivity issues with the app itself, which sometimes can be a massive issue when it comes to all of these different wearable devices at dropping in and dropping out. The connection on this one has been incredibly reliable. Design, this isn't the prettiest thing to look at if we're really honest with ourselves, but it is effective. Now, if you do wanna take a quick nap with it, you can't pop it on and lie on your side because the earpieces are so chunky themselves. You do need to be on your back for it, which I found a little bit inconvenient at times where I'm much more of a side sleeper than I am a back sleeper. Overall, I give it an eight out of 10, just because you do need to set aside time for it. And like I said, I recommend a daily routine like first thing in the morning or even later at night, even though it uses light therapy, you can select binaural beats that have delta frequency, which can help you sleep at night as well, which sounds counterintuitive. I've tried it, it works a charm. This one comes in at $647. It is more expensive, but overall, I gotta say, I do keep coming back to this one. Number three, Sensei. This one looks like a pebble, funnily enough, and it's different in that you don't pop it on your head, you actually put it around your neck and you wanna make sure that it kind of hits your chest bone. Now, this fascinating little device actually works on your vagus nerve through bone conduction in synchronization with audio to reduce stress. It gently vibrates on your chest. I was super skeptical when I got this thing because you kind of look at it thinking, what is this gonna do for stress or for anxiety? because it does work on a subconscious level. It's obviously not as noticeable as brain tap where you've got lights, you've got sound, you've got a visualization process occurring. Now, you may not necessarily think the device is working itself when you're using it. As I share in the video on sleep trackers, in relation to HRV, heart rate variability, the vagus nerve is tied to the calming parasympathetic nervous system. If you're skeptical about this one, I get why, because this is worth investigating, because in 1997, the FDA approved implanted vagus nerve stimulation devices as an adjunctive therapy for reducing the frequency and severity of epileptic seizures in pharmacoresistant epilepsy patients. That was a mouthful. Let's take a look at the Sensate scorecard. Effectiveness, I give this one a seven out of 10. I did put this device to the test when I did need to get a lot of writing done. I did find it calming, but because this concept was so foreign to me at the time, I was asking myself whether it was working or not. Despite that, it definitely helped me get to sleep and calm any anxiety and stress that I was having. It's probably not as noticeable as a device such as BrainTap where you've got flashing lights, you've got binaural beats and you've got a visualization happening. It just gently vibrates on your chest bone. Now, if you've had a ton of coffee, don't expect this device or any other device is gonna calm you down. You purely have to wait for the caffeine to wear off because of the physiological surprise caused by a psychoactive substance. It's not gonna offset the negative effects of caffeine in that situation itself. Ease of use, this one is super easy to use. You just hang it around your neck and the app connectivity was pretty great as well. Design, this one is nice and clean. There is a new addition that's about to come out that looks to have improved it even further. Overall, I give this a seven out of 10. I'd recommend it for mild anxiety. It's also great for someone 
who just wants to pop it on and not worry about meditation. There's also soundtracks that you can use with it. I didn't tend to use it with the soundtracks. I wanted to see how effective the vibration and the bone connectivity was going to work in terms of releasing anxiety itself. And it did work. But if you're in a really stressed out state and meditation is completely out of the question because you can't focus due to heavily being in fight or flight, this one is probably more up your alley. The price for this one is $390, but make sure you check the website for any updates around that. Number four, we have Muse Meditation. This is a personal favorite of mine because it's beautifully designed, it's light, it's easy to use. If you haven't seen my full review of Muse Meditation where I interview the founder of Muse, be sure to check out my YouTube channel. Muse is well established in this brain training space and it uses biofeedback as well as gamification to help you hone your meditation skills. This device is really designed for people who don't know if they're doing meditation right, which is me. I love visualizations, but meditation, boy, it takes me a while to get in that zone. Meditation, as you probably already know, is great for building skills to manage stress, negative emotions, reducing cortisol, and also great for creativity. The way that it works is it actually uses an EEG device to track your brain waves in real time. So when you're calm, you're gonna hear birds chirping. When your mind is overreactive, you're gonna hear the weather change. So the waves might crash louder on the shoreline at the beach. Now that's your cue to calm your mind and bring it back down and settle it. Then on the app, after the session, you get a score for how calm you were and how often you were able to calm your mind down. This is what I'd class as an active brain training device. It's not passive in the sense that you put it on and you just let it do its thing like OmniPemp. This is a gym workout for your mind. I, I honestly think every kid in school should get one of these. If you have teenagers, get them into meditation at a younger age because there is a gamification element to it. I think kids would absolutely love this one as well as adults, of course. And for someone like myself who doesn't normally meditate, does the visualizations instead, the gamification element told me how effective I was being and getting that biofeedback is a huge plus. Now let's take a look at the Muse scorecard. Effectiveness, in my 30 day challenge using Muse, I noticed significantly that I was less reactive to everything. I could get into a state of flow with work really quickly. Ease of use, this is incredibly easy to use. The connectivity on the app always worked. It's never failed me. You've got tons of different programs that you can actually do there. I personally found it really challenging myself to calm my mind down because I'm working on so many things at a time. So it took me a couple of weeks to calm my mind down and get a really good score on the app. Design. This baby gets a 10 out of 10. Check out this. This is a sexy, beautiful, sleek looking device when you compare it and it's an unfair comparison, <laughs> but it's lightweight, it's flexible, fits on your head, no problem. Overall, this is an eight out of 10 because you do need to make time for this. This is another device kind of like BrainTap where you have to fit it into your daily routine. OmniPamp, you can just kind of put it on not really think about it and go straight into it. The price, only $249. This is a great investment. If you really need to get a control of your emotions with the level of uncertainty in this environment right now. As we're faced with unprecedented times and levels of uncertainty that most of us have never ever experienced, there is no tool more valuable than your brain. We need to give it the love and care it needs and we need to train it so it serves us and we need to keep ourselves in our logical, rational mind as much as humanly possible so we can make decisions from a place of calm instead of panic. Part of looking after our brain is proper nutrition, which leads me to the next question. How does the food we eat impact our behavior, mood and emotion? Well, for that, stay tuned for an exciting new series based on my brand new book, Mind Control, in which we delve into the world of nutritional psychology, 
and the hidden world of the gut microbiome. Have a great week in the meantime, and I'll see you soon. Take care.